Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with your host, Anon Jr. We are getting ready to start episode 19 of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The good one, not the MMO that uh, started well, but uh, yeah, well, we won't talk about that. All right, if you remember, uh, we were in the middle of our great escape, um, and we were... We, we finished in Media Res. Wait, no, that wasn't the name of the ship. Uh, the name of the ship was the Leviathan. <laughs> and uh, we were about to uh, effect a strategic retreat after defeating um, Saul and all that and looting his body for all the officer's cash. And, <laughs> and uh, we were just about to hit the hangar when uh, energy levels kind of bottomed out and yeah, sinus infection, man. So, we should be finishing that up. And I'm definitely going to get to the Yavin station because there's a couple things I want to do there. Uh, this is going to be far more story because if I'm... If I'm picking up on the implications right, we should have a lot of discussion to happen and a lot of talking to people, a lot of being talked at by people, some wonderful revelations. So buckle your seatbelts for a more uh, story-heavy day. And then depending on how long it takes to go through that, we will go to Korriban or we will be ready to go to Korriban after, uh, after we finish up our business here. So let's get this loaded up. Let's get this show on the road as we make our great escape. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Alright. Wait, is this the... Oh, yep, that's right. <laughs> I'm still on command deck. I didn't bother going through the elevator. That's what I was waiting for, because I wasn't sure if it was going to start us off on the next thing as soon as I hit this or not. So let's go down to the hangar. Go hang out by the hangar. Alright. Here we go. Ominous music abounds. Cut it's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Sweet. Our Mandalorian mercenary has the getaway vehicle good and ready to go. And, uh, ooh. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's start with the force wave. Do the wave. Let's get an energy shield going. And then let's start our furious flurries. Alright, uh, you know what? Hit him with a stasis. Hit him. We don't need force resistance, but hitting everybody up with uh, valor and armor. And then start in with the furious flurries. You know what? I don't want the door. I don't want the door. Oh, bother. Okay. Uh, so everybody's focusing on that first Yahoo. Is oh can you target him? You can target him. All right, toss a grenade and start power blasting everybody in the back of the room. And yes. away we go. Yes. Well, that was quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, Operation Overwhelming Force is a go. <laughs> and all we had was 26 bucks. Alright. I mean, I guess that's a decent Five Guys burger or something like that, right? Alright, into the storage cylinder we go. Yes, I will take everything you have to offer. <laughs> Especially since I got a funny feeling another 
bigger fight than normal is getting ready to happen, especially since they keep piling on the repair kits, the med packs, and antidote kits. It's the antidote kit that really has me worried, though. Yeah, more of the same, and... Nope. That's everybody, right? Yeah. Okay. That's everybody, all nice and tidy. Alright, before I open the door, let me make sure my crew is a little bit closer on hand. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Alright, uh, we got a Dark Jedi, we got a Dark Jedi Master. Alright, let's, uh, let's hit you with the Force Wave, and let's go in for the stasis on you. And hit those flurries, right? Let's go for the stasis, and let's hit Force Resistance. Alright, let's bump up the Valor, bump up the Armor, oh, and that's everything there. You have no views on anybody. Lovely. Alright, uh, hmm. I don't want to go lobbing grenades since our own people are going to be running in there. Let's just power blast away, right? Yes! Right. Bam! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that works. Alright, uh, so. Let me keep going. Ooh, let me back up. Let me hit him with that. Hit him with stasis again, just in case. Hit him with some flurious flurries. Flurious flurries. Come on. Yeah. Let's hit Sir back of the bus with that. Since we got Karth here, we can definitely get him to knock up the power blast there. Alright, and... Yes! Uh, you asked for this! Oh. <laughs> that was... That was deceptively easy. Like, this is that moment where you go, that was easy. Yeah, too easy. Uh, okay. Some grenades, always nice. Computer spikes, alright. Antidote kits, uh, and again, I, <laughs> so far we haven't run into anything that poisons us, but they sure do seem to be handing us a lot of antidote kits. Um, I will happily take all the repair kits and med packs. And 11 bucks, alright, you know. A grenade, med packs, alright, so that's all the lockers unlocked. Everybody's back to full health. These guys don't have no anything? <laughs> they don't have nothing. These guys don't have anything? Uh, poor souls. Literally. Or is it sitting here in their bunk? Another antidote kit, some credits. If nothing else, you know, I, I might sell some of these antidote kits when we get a chance. Uh, that is one of the things I wanted to go to Yavin. We seem to be getting a lot of the advanced kits now as regular loot. So I want to... Um, Unburden my inventory of the uh, the lesser med packs and that sort of thing, just because they we we've kind of hit the point where they they're not cutting it, not yet anyway. All right, no, that's back. That's the way we need to go. Actually, what we need to do is take our easy wins and make a save. Season one, episode nineteen. Okay. There we go. Now we can go ahead and make some stuff happen. Yeah, let's just charge through that door Leroy Jenkins style. Where's my crew? You guys behind me? You ready? <laughs> oh! Alright. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we got the troopers, we got the dark Jedi, we got a captain. No oh, captain, my captain. Uh, let's do, <laughs> let's do the wave. Let's get an energy shield up, because that's going to be important. And 
Let's get a furious flurry and then another wave ought to knock some people down. Alright, and Bastila. You can go ahead and hit him with the stasis field and let's buff everybody up with some force resistance and some valor and some armor and Karth, my good man. If you would be a gent and throw some grenades over there. No, not the concussion grenades. Poison grenades? I'm not going to make that much use of them. Sonic, adhesive, cryoband. Ooh, no. Let's do the plasma. You target him over there? Yeah, let's toss that over there. And then start doubling down on the Sith guy that's obviously going to be running up. Alright. We got everything queued up. Here we go. Right <laughs> I hear bodies falling. You cannot win. Wow. That was surprisingly quick. Uh, anybody else worried about that? Like, I'm looting the boxes as quick as I can, but uh, I am deeply worried about how quick that was. Alright, get some grenades back. Did none of these guys have anything? Any pocket change? Nothing? They didn't have two credits to rub together? You know, that's one of the things I never really understood about the Star Wars universe. Do you actually have, like, individual credits, or is it all, like, swipe it on my card, kind of? Because, uh, that, that would make it hard to have two credits to rub together if that was the case. Let's hit everybody with the healing Oh no, no, everybody's good. Alright, we looted all the boxing. We got this guy on the card. <laughs> on the card to run. Yeah. I always wondered if you would actually have two chips to rub together, but I guess not. Oh look, he had eight bucks. I guess he was gonna go get some Taco Bell. A very Sithy of him. Which way do I want to go? What's over here? Nothing. What's over here before I run through the door? There we go. That's where we're trying to get to. That's my beautiful ship. Acquired from another gentleman. <laughs> Alright, yeah. You know what? While well, we got the opportunity, let's go ahead and do a quick save. Because so far, it's been a little too easy. I'm trying to adjust the camera angle to look down. Wrong game. Uh oh. Darth Story mode is here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait. Wrong game. Darth Malak. Down you go! <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Why Is it vengeance you seek you? at this reunion? Um, hmm. Reunion? What are you talking about? Why did the Jedi spare me? I don't understand. And this meeting was inevitable. Um, if you've been paying attention to the dialogue, you kind of figured out what was about to happen. There, there were enough clues kind of floating around to, uh, to figure this one out, even if you hadn't already played the game before. Um, for the sake of, sake of playing it straight, I'm gonna go. Why did the Jedi spare me? What? I don't <laughs> understand. You mean you don't know? 
All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined been a couple powers of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? Uh-oh. Gonna... Oh, it's video time. Let's switch over to this. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training. But this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Hints and clues and things. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them. The clues that were before us all along. Well, I'm not sure why that had to be a uh, video sequence. They could have used the game rendering for that, it would have been alright. Oh, here we go. The big review. Dun dun. Okay. The evil was inside you all along. All right. There's the big reel. What happened to Darth Revan? He is us. He is me. I will admit, I've had a few dark side impulses that I did not act upon because I am now neutral good. Ish. Adjacent. You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. Uh, of course, I turn the camera back on as soon as the fly runs right by my eye. Alright, uh, you cannot hide from what you once were. Uh, some kind of a trick of Sith lie, or I'm Darth Revan. How is that possible? I... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the how is that possible. You do not I, I'm not gonna try the liar, liar, pants on fire. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you. And the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned like, you against your own The Council Council or the C team that we've been working with so far? I'm not entirely sure the C-Team could have managed it. Just, you know, saying. Uh, so what are my options? No, I don't believe you? Nah, that's... That's not gonna cut it. How did they capture someone as powerful as Revan? I mean, me. That's a viable option. Do you mean... I'm really... Your master? I'd start singing a couple of choruses of Master of Puppets, but I do not want a DMCA takedown for poorly sung lyrics. And why wouldn't the Jedi simply kill me? Like, seriously. Who's gonna say, why wouldn't the Jedi simply kill me? Even the Sith know the Jedi are not simply gonna kill you. Because they're Jedi. Alright. 
But let's go with how did they capture someone as powerful I as Riven? Riven. I always knew that of one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. My I ordered my own God. ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I yeah, never dreamed that, that Jedi would you take there. you alive from the wreckage. Where, where's the option to taunt him about thinning out his apprentice pool? Uh, huh, huh, huh. I don't believe you. That's... no. We've shown too much intelligence for that. Well, why wouldn't the Jedi simply kill me? I think we've already covered why that's not a good answer, so let's go with... But why did you betray your master? As if I don't know the answer. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy. But you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. <laughs> yeah, keep it up, Chuckles. I'm about to give you a stroke. Alright, sure. The Let's Jedi try. are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. Alright, um... I don't know why they keep giving us... No, I don't believe it, you... Uh, <laughs> I was gonna go with no, I don't believe it. And then... The guy with the... Filtered, synthy type voice goes... Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh wait, no. Wrong part of the uh, franchise. Okay. Uh, let's go with Bastila. It's true. Is this true? I was part of the team sent to capture Revan. To capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Um, hmm. Okay, so... Why don't I remember being Revan? Except I think some of the visions were me remembering being Revan. So, let's go with, um... But the memories I have, where did the they Jedi come from? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Alright, so... You've been lying to me this whole time. Why not just let me die? Why program me with another identity? Or, I understand. You had no other choice. Uh, going the whiny you've been lying to me this whole time doesn't fit with what we've done so far. Why not just let me die? Doesn't fit with what we've done so far with the uh, Sith. Why program me with another identity is an option. But uh, let's go the understanding route. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. You're I was weak. right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small oh, part of just me wait. has always regretted betraying you I'll from show afar. You weak. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now Actually, fate has given me a I second would claim chance that you acted out of fear because you didn't want to face me. Once I defeat you in combat, you no one will saber. question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Uh, triumph? You seem to forget that I'm still alive. No. Let's go with, uh, your power is no match. The Jedi Council right. were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Oh, so you're gonna Master face me face to face apprentice now. As it was meant to be. Because there's no other options. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, hmm. This is when I kind of wish I had the, uh, I hadn't given Bastil all the buffs. Alright, uh, I don't want to do the 
stimulant. Alright, let's just go with the energy shield then. Alright, I was hoping for a little bit more. And... Let's see how far the flurries get us. wave in there. Yeah, that might go better. I'm not going to go throwing grenades at the guy, you know, a mere saber strike away from me. That seems, that seems less than wise. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do that hyper battle stimulant. <laughs> YOLO! Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Oh! With the lightning. I should probably get a heal in there somewhere too. Or not. Of course it is. Brave Sir Robin. Sir Robin. Bravely ran away. Shouldn't be burning through my force pool on that one though. No problem. Didn't work. Fine. Alright. If I gotta chase you down, I'll chase you down. I mean, you're just gonna die tired, actually. Give it the idea that death may occur. Let's go ahead and save this puppy. Okay. Hmm. Which door did he go? No problem. Didn't work. Yeah. I usually have other people for opening the doors. Do I seriously have to run the long way around this thing? There we go. Oh yeah, you're gonna sit here and do the come hither thing when I just beat your sorry butt? Alright, fine. Alright. Let him up. <laughs> have a seat. Uh, hmm. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and trick you to another wave and another couple flurries. <laughs> Again? This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the so stand Jedi! and show us. I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Yeah, this does not seem to be a good option. The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good idea. Let Bastila deal with Malik. I mean, all things being equal, I was kind of handling him pretty, pretty easily there. But you know, what if? Okay, no, we got to help her. doesn't stand a chance against Malik, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find no, no, the no, Star we can Forge. Help her. That's the key to like, beating the Dark Lord. One more Bastila around. sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on. Okay. Let's make a brave Sir Robin and run away. Uh, which way is out of this puppy? Probably this way. Hangar Bay. Can we get back into the battle this way? What, what, what was with the dosy do there? Sometimes the things this game, the things this game does, really kind of confuse me. But all right, let's go down by the bay. All right.
This is the way we run away, run away, run away. Video time. Look, it's a leviathan ineffectively shooting at us. However, will we escape? Oh, like that. <laughs> and if I remember right. Yeah. Just about every place we've left, we've had to deal with some sort of space battle. And why should this one be different? Alright. Let's do this. Not the survival I'd like, but I'll take it. I mean, any survival is better than none, right? If you can walk away, it couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> uh, I think that ship model should have a few more scratches on it. Look a little more like a Millennium Falcon. Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Ah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to Good use her battle time. meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. Uh, we have to go back. Can't help Bastila, not unless we find the Starforge first. Now, let's try for the go back. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? <laughs> Say one word and you're dead. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem to be a uh, productive way to lead, even if I am wearing uh, Darth Apprentice's armor. <laughs> I'll tell them, I don't care what Malik said, I'm not Darth Revan. That just seems like the wrong kind of denial. Like the kind that some shrink's gonna go, oh honey. So, let's go. I'll Revan, tell them. What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Oh... Uh, hmm. Small bits, a few strange Just dreams. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still totally matters. Naive. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. All right, uh, this changes nothing. Blame the council. I'm sorry, I wish this wasn't true, but I'm not the Dark Lord anymore. 
I'm one of you. Yeah, let's try I don't that. see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <laughs> I greatly appreciate having the Wookiee on my side. Because <laughs> that's Big Z not and a I good... will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. There's anybody How can in this you team say that mission? Don't want... The Sith oh, no, bombed my homeworld. Revan took away my family and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've I mean, proven you yourself but... to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? Alright, let's go down the list. What about you, What Jody? about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off than Thanks. you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Candles? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Oh, nice. I have a Mandalorian bodyguard. I got a Wookiee and a Mandalorian bodyguard. Do you know how safe I feel? I mean, seriously, who's going to try to do something about that? All right, let's ask Commentary. HK. Commentary. I am... Um experiencing something unusual, Master. Oh. Answer. <laughs> my programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Uh, I'll destroy if you make a move. Your homing system. Everybody be careful. Okay, that is a rather interesting way of phrasing it. So this is the stimuli you were waiting for. So many jokes, but I don't have to change the rating on the channel. I believe so, Master. I was unaware of my homing system until it had been activated. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original Master. Wait. Right. Let me get this straight. You've been walking around with me all this time, and it's only when I go, I'm Darth Revan, that you go, Oh, yeah, my long-lost master, who I knew so well. Like, look at this mug. Is this not the same mug? Does facial recognition not work in a galaxy far, far away? A long, long, longer time ago? Affirmation. Fine. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a Behold the power of this fully functional again, droid. <laughs> Good so long as you're loyal. I'm not exactly Riven anymore. But I found you, or... well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, let's try that. Observation. That does not matter, Master. I am your droid, regardless of your actions or personality. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malik himself could drop out of the sky, and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. That's fair. All right, and what about you, T3? I, I mean, knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Did, did we seriously expect anything different? All right. Well, Garth. The others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malik is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I mean, <laughs> you're right. You don't have a choice. I'm in charge here. Now, uh, I won't let you down, or I'm not Revan anymore. You have to believe that. Uh, let's go with the I won't let you I down. I want to believe you. You've 
proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. <laughs> All right, do I play the heartstrings? You have to try for best of the sake. Uh, how do you think I feel? Or you have to find a way to deal with this? This must be even more one. of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that star forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. Oh. Are we back to video? Looks like we're back to video. Oh, that's right, because we're finally getting to the Yavin station. I, I really hate that they do the switch to video every single time. We've seen the flight to approach. Do we really need to see the flight to approach again? And again. And again. Ooh, it's the ship flying and landing. Okay. And there we go. Back to... Back to the regular game. Up. Uh, Hey Grimslayer, sorry I didn't, I just noticed your comment. No, not a dark side run. I am most definitely going light side. Uh, we've been working towards finding the star maps. I needed to run to the Yavin station real quick. Uh, I probably ought to have a chat with everybody on here too, now that we have had the final revelation that I am Darth Revan. Or was at least at one point. Uh, alright, so do I chat with everybody first, or do I do... No, let's take care of the station first. Let's take care of things on the station first. And then we'll have our chat with everybody. Because I wanted to do a little bit of shopping. Ooh. No, uh, no Bastila. Alright, let's add some muscle... Okay. All right. Oh, he gets to level up. Oh, not that one. That one. And all right. Well, what do we want to do with HK forty-seven? Uh. Yeah. See, this is the tough spot. No matter what I increase, it's not going to be an increase that makes that big a difference. Uh, I'm tempted to go Dex, since I mostly shoot with him. Khan would be nice, because his job is Bruiser, and higher Khan would mean better hit points. Um, as much as I like intelligent minions, that's not really going to help him all that much, because he doesn't get enough skill points to make it worth investing more in intelligence although uh, wisdom would be nice because that would help with the uh, will save and his will save is not so hot although I think he's got a couple of uh, modules that will help with uh, with the will save he might have one that helps with the dexterity too so let's uh, yeah, let's try to get the wisdom up to help with the will save, because I got a funny feeling that since we're headed to Korriban, we're about to run into far more uh, force adept enemies. Alright, and he's got two points, so we definitely want to bump up repair, and sure, let's toss another one on awareness. Okay, there we go. Darth, you got a level up? Nope. Okay. Good. Yeah. Go on the light side route. Alright, now let's see a see a man about some stuff. Cause I need to unload a few things. And he gives the best prices in all the galaxy.
if you can get through the 82 doors to go talk to the man. Why, hello, good sir. It's a lot better seeing you than those trim dungeons again. Is there anything I can do for you now, though? Uh, no questions. I don't think I quizzed him about the train dojins the last time, but uh, let's go with the inventory. Let's do let's do a little bit of trade and commerce real quick. Ooh, he's got some new armor too. Uh, environmental bastion armor, medium armor. Um, hmm. that's nice, but it doesn't give us a full. Because right now we're getting a total of 11 armor between the defense and the decks. Although, 100% immune to cold, fire, sonic, and it's upgradable? Uh, hmm. That is a mark in his favor. Blade exoskeleton is upgradable, although I think I already had a couple of those and it didn't seem to work out all that well. Yeah, because the defense bonus was too low and our dex is not high enough to make that worthwhile. All right, the Bargwin Shadow Armor. That's nice. It helps with stealth, which is something I really haven't used except for like once in trying to get out of the Leviathan. Uh, but it is upgradable. A heavy exoskeleton. 9, 10, 11, so that gives us uh, between the defense bonus and the max dex, that would give us the same armor as what we have, but it would bump up the constitution by 1 and the strength by 2, which would definitely help the damage output. Uh, I'll have to think about that. I think I've already... Yeah. I think I've already run into a, some Mandalorian battle armor. Alright, we don't need any of the assault blades and the vibro blades. We're good with the... Oh, well, maybe the ripper? No, not the ripper. Uh, mm. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh. The advanced biostabilizer mask is immune to mind affecting and poison, plus one to all saves. That might be a good one. <laughs> awareness. Oh man, we, we all definitely need a higher awareness. Alright. Uh, advanced stabilizer gloves, blaster bolt defection, plus five, dex plus three. That could work out. Advanced combat. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that that's actually not that bad. Uh, blaster pistol, blaster rifle, heavy weapons, melee weapons, and that's proficiency specialization. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, hmm. That's tempting, but I don't know who I'd put that in. Because anything Candor's already has all the proficiencies, and everybody else is um, at such a point that doing anything, anything other than the weapon chain that they have, would not really help. So I, I think we'll skip that one. Ooh, that's not bad though. An awareness of plus 10, dex plus 2. Except I don't have the feet for level 3 implants yet. Um, Biostabilizer. Yeah. We got the meds. We got the race bonds. I sold them. The Desert Raid. Fields. The flamethrowers. Ooh. Although, that's not bad. Getting a couple of those would give my droids unlimited shield. 
unlimited flamethrower and unlimited stun mm. that's tempting that's gonna get expensive quick so let's let's go to the cell and see what we got first all right we're keeping the advanced med pack and the antidote kits although do we really need 42 antidote kits no uh, Let's bring that down to 20. Alright, uh, we'll keep the life support packs. Let's get rid of all the med packs. I kind of wish there was a sell all. repair kit and the construction kit but the regular repair kits we can get rid of all right um security spikes and security tunnelers we'll go ahead and keep computer spike and parts we'll keep the Dark Jedi Knight robe can go. The Dark Jedi Master robe can go. The Jedi Master robe can go. A combat suit. Yeah, that can go. I think I was hanging onto the fiber armor for some reason. I can't remember. The light, the powered light battle armor. Uh, that's right. That is a go yeah i really want to sell it yep i really want to sell it and believe it or not i want to sell the third one too uh the battle armor is not as good as the people who can already do the heavy so let's get rid of those durasteel heavy armor that's another one that the guy wearing the my my lone heavy armor dude is uh already got better than that the stun batons can go go the long sword can go we're gonna keep those two swords and that one there because um boom the foil five to fifteen Plus three attack. Might hang on to that one. Although, honestly... Yeah, no, I'll hang on to that one, just in case. Alright, we need... The short sword can go. The double-bladed sabers. Yep, that can go. Yeah, the other one can go as well. Um, I think, no, who had the purple double-bladed saber? I want to say that was actually one of the, one of the ones that one of my people had already. Uh, cause Bastila didn't have the purple one though. I think I had that prepared just in case I wanted to give it to Jahani maybe. Anyway, that looks like one that I'd definitely ought to hang on to although the short saver can go uh, I'm gonna hang on to the Bondar and Rubat and all that keep Bendax blaster uh, that blaster pistol that can go the Sith assassin pistol uh, hmm. yeah Ooh, wait no that's the one that we pulled off of uh off a of saw that is only six to nine energy damage with a plus one to ten ion 50% chance to stun and a plus five attack modifier you know what I'll hang on to that one 
2 to 6, 1 to 10, yeah, 6 to 9, 1 to 10, 3 to 6. Uh, yeah. That Verpine prototype can go. Yep. Keeping the bowcaster. The assault gun, that can go. Yep. No, I, re I really wanted to sell them all. The disruptor rifle can go. That blaster cannon can actually go. The light repeating blaster can definitely go. The regular rifle can go. All one, two, three. Uh, the Mandalorian assault rifle. Pretty sure that that's um. Uh, yeah, that's a go. Yep, I really want to sell it. Guess what? I want to sell the next one, too. And I want to sell the one after that. And I want to sell the last one. Sweet. Alright, um... I need to thin out my grenade collection. Because I really don't want to keep running through those. So we got the frag grenade. Um... 20 points of damage, not bad. The Concussion Grenade is a chance to stun, maybe, if you're lucky. Uh, four points every three seconds for 30 seconds, so that would be 40 points overall. That's double what the Frag Grenade can do, but it will be over a slower amount of time, and they can save for no effect. I'm actually going to go ahead and sell the Poison Grenades. Just because they're half as likely to cause problems for me as they are anything else. Uh, what about the sonic grenades, though? That is 20 damage. Ooh, never mind. Um, yeah. I, cause that's 20 damage, that's 20 damage. Although that's piercing damage, and that is sonic damage. The adhesive grenades... Ah, they're there to slow people down. Yeah, nah, let's get rid of those. Hold damage. I forgot that it actually does that. I was mostly focusing on the cryobang grenades as a uh, battlefield control. But uh, I don't really use those, so let's go ahead and sell them. The ion grenades... They don't do a lot of damage unless it's a droid. I'll keep those for now. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, everybody's pretty much up to date on what they can carry and what's worth carrying. So let's go ahead and sell the neural amplifiers. Let's keep the breath mask just in case it seems like a wise choice to switch that over. Um, nobody that needs improved power blast doesn't have it. So let's go ahead and sell Davix visor. We'll go ahead and sell the neural band. Everybody that needs strength already has that or better. Okay, the dueling shield and the energy shield, prototype shield, yeah, we'll keep those. Uh, resist five versus bludgeoning. I'm tempted to keep it, although I can't remember the last time somebody tried to bludgeon me. Um, Grimslayer, I, I'm not quite sure what you're, what am I trying to build for? Um, mostly I, I've been going with a high dex build, using that to hit, uh, hit hard, at least as far as the main character goes. Uh, this was the, the whole run itself was mostly trying to, oh, um, I, I've been doing the, uh, single for myself 
and I've got a couple of the minions doing the uh, one's doing the dual savers, the other's doing the dual bladed saver. Um, although, since Basila was the one doing the dual bladed saver and has just been caught, uh, <laughs> mostly right this moment, I'm trying to go through and unload all the inventory I don't need because I've. I've been slowly accumulating a lot of stuff, and this is the first chance I've had to uh, to get rid of a bunch of gear. Uh, I meant to do this earlier after leaving Manon, but I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> so it's mostly running through like, do do I still need that? Like, because because I'm looking at the Brejic's belt, and uh, you know it's like. Damage resistance 5 is nice, but I, I can't remember the last time somebody tried to bludgeon me to death. Uh, not since Terrace. So, <laughs> I, I'm tempted to go ahead and, let, yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. Um, I'll hang on to those, just because having something that grants immunity to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, mind affecting. Oh, yeah, no, we, we finished, uh, we finished Tatooine, so uh, no more worrying about the sand people trying to bludgeon us to death. We've got Korriban and the the mystery planet that's after that, and then the Star Forge. Oh, Karsk. Oh, Karsk. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we're we're uh, we're pretty far in. I, I've been doing these longer than I probably should have. In retrospect, it's one of the things that I've learned from season one, because uh, th these have been three, two to three hour runs most days, with a couple of exceptions in between. Because we are now nineteen, yeah, nineteen episodes in. So we're uh, we're a little ways in. <laughs> we're a little ways into this. Uh, yeah, we're selling the stealth field generator because I ain't playing that game. Uh, we're selling the response package because everybody that needs a dex boost has one. I'll keep the mind affecting immunities. Ah, Kashik. Yeah, we, we finished Kashik, and I have to look up how to spell that every single time. Ma matter of fact, um, uh, Arcadius, who's been commenting, keeps glaring at me every time I mispronounce it. So, uh, <laughs> I, I might just keep doing that anyway, but. Um, uh, let's keep those for now. Let's keep that for now. Um, I don't need, you know, a, that's a value zero, so there's no point in selling it. I'll stick that in a, I'll stick that in a storage container on the ship somewhere. Yes, I am on the Yavin shop right now. He gives better prices than anywhere else. And I am more than happy to accumulate stuff and sell it to him for a better price. <laughs> um, all right, these are the cheap clarity And the cheap stamina. And the cheap strength. I'll keep the hyper. Let's get rid of the. Ooh, mm. uh, I don't have enough of the higher end battle stimulants, so I'll keep the regular one for now. I don't play with the mines, so let's go ahead and sell those. Yeah. And, oh yeah, sell the raid plates. Keep thinking there's somewhere I needed to put that hair trigger, though. Yeah, we don't need the cheap plating or that plating. Uh, nope. Because they've got better than five right now. They got better than six right now. I'm not sure if they got better than nine or eleven, so I'm going to have to hold off on that for a second. Um, they do don't need the awareness bump. The only person who's going to use this would be HK, and he's already got those feats. That may be the weapon spec. No, he's got those. So, anybody that could use that, or anybody that would need that, 
already has that. Uh, we don't need the computer use. Uh, might hang on to that. Oh yeah, and definitely keeping the shields. Uh, the gravity... Ooh, I forgot I had that. Okay. Yeah. But you know what, though? I think I'm going to sell all the flamethrowers, stun, and the shield disruptor, because this guy sells the infinite ones. And, uh... Well, I think the DC is not quite as... Yeah. I, I like infinite uses. Let's sell these. And that should give us more than enough money to get the uh, the really good ones. Now we can go here to the buy list. Go all the way down. Get, uh, get an infinite flamethrower. Yep. Get an infinite stun ray. And get an infinite shield disruptor. There we go. And I think that covers this trip. Yeah, let me, uh, let me double check this guy real quick. Oh yeah, because he's already got the plating that's worth 11, so... Uh, that means that, if anything, I'll keep this other one, and I can sell the, uh, heavy plating type 1, because I don't, I definitely don't need that if I've already got two heavy plating type 3. Oh. I didn't realize that, uh, he had a couple of those utility open. I thought I'd... I thought I'd already filled those. Alright, I'll deal with that later. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of that last little bit of, uh... Get rid of that last bit of droid plating I don't need. Uh, not the Type 3, the Type 1. There we go. And since I'm here, what did those transitions want? Ah, they want me to give them more of my inventions. Ever since Davik went down, the exchange has been a non-factor in these parts. The transitions are trying to muscle in all the old exchange business now. Maybe you're still working on something with them. Thank you for being here. Maybe you less pleasant if you hadn't shown up. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Is there something else you want? Yeah, I want the next, uh, the next deal with the Trandosians, so that way, uh... They'll sell me the really good stuff. Or maybe that'll happen after, uh, after Korriban. I think that's about it for there. Alright. So that is the shopping done. I do want to run around to all the minions and make sure that I've had all the conversations I need to have with them. But I'll do that on the Ebon Hawk instead of trying to load them up in here. Yeah, I thought about going to Korriban first, but, uh... Oh, <laughs> for the dark side. Yeah, I was trying to play it light side, so, uh... Trying to keep this character neutral good if we're going by the standard D&D &D alignment types. I hadn't thought about trying to do it solo, though. That, uh... There, there are days these guys are helpful, and then there are days these hey guys there. are what can not. I do for you? Yeah, uh, the neutral's not the hard part. The good part is, you know, neutral means that, you know, if you need to be a little sticky-fingered about a couple of things here and there, it doesn't bother you that much. 
All right, so let's ask the question on everybody's mind. It what seems do you have to, to say me that if you don't really remember Revan? anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the hardest difficulty is definitely uh, a challenge, especially solo. <laughs> well, I've had an, I've had a couple of fights that made uh, there there were a few fights that were almost my last. But that, that was more of a problem early game since I was trying to save up levels. I only leveled up to five before I left Terrace. So that way I could stock up on the Jedi levels a little bit harder. Alright, so... Doesn't bother well, her I don't at see all. the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Okay. So she's good. Alright. Uh, <laughs> you know, it just dawned on me that the two people with the dark side leanings like to hang out over here together. Alright. Let's find out yeah, what he has to say. Um, Alright. Yeah, let's start Working with for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't or couldn't pay, strong-arming his competitors, killing who he said. It was busy work, nothing decent. <laughs> now that's the way things should be done. <laughs> yeah, he is, uh, he is definitely been an interesting character to have along or HK has been even more fun at least for some of the conversation prompts he brings up he's next on the list um uh, yeah let's go with the assassin, assassin mercenary those are names people give guys like me who do the killing to make us seem better or worse in their eyes I've killed many people I can't say I'm proud of it but I have yeah, criminals competitors businessmen police Women, I'm not children, sure I've topped it Jedi off, though. were a better challenge, but they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win, just like all those years ago. You know, I don't like either of those options, at least for the way I've been rolling the character. But uh, we'll go with yeah, the last decision. Yeah, <laughs> probably. You probably would have beaten me again. Maybe you would have, but you're not who you were back then. I can tell. You've changed, and maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder, it was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. Um, <laughs> I regret to tell you that I never regret anything. I, I do like that. That's not the answer I'm going to go with, but, uh... Yeah, believe it or not, this is my first time playing this. But I played the, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic MMO before I played this. Uh, so that kind of spoiled a little bit of the whole Revan thing when they released that expansion. I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior. And then all the chances I've had since then. I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but it feels like, like something has changed inside and I don't know what it is. Ah, this is unbecoming a warrior. Is that a conscious Let's get on with everything before I start getting <laughs> sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? Yeah, Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Oh, I probably should ask him for some adrenal stimulants. Maybe he's making the good ones now. Statement. All right, HK. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. All right, um... Yeah, let's start with, so you belong to Revan originally. Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was <laughs> sent on an assassination the mission stuff to gets a little like, come space, on, man. But I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Uh, probably.
really better. You find it distressing. Uh, let's go with this probably Observation. better. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. All right. Um. Okay, I am curious. So why the meat Answer. pack references? It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meat bag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed <laughs> so this my is programming my fault. so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's get to the meat of the matter. What does he know about Answer. the Starforge? No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. Oh. Okay. Um. What about Commentary. Malik? Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, am I very much like the you know? You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life. <laughs> the concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. As you desire, uh... Master. Signing off. Alright. That was fun. Alright, and that's right. No one no one's in the engine room. Um was somebody over this way? No, storage was over this way. And let me go ahead. Because there's a couple of items. Switch to give item. List. Um, I don't need the security decryption interface anymore. Parts, computer parts, tunnelers. There's a couple other plot items that I didn't need anymore. And the scientist memo. Both of them can go. The visitor's guide can go. And I think... Yeah, that was everything. Okay, good. That at least gets a few more things out of the old inventory. And... Nobody was back here, if I remember right. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, let's do Julie first, and then we'll get to those two. Got something on your mind, do you? Why did you leave the Jedi? <laughs> Who said I left the Jedi? Don't play games with me, old man. No, you did. Well, technically, I was only a Padawan. Not that that makes a difference to most, but as for the Order itself, no, I never left it. It left me. Is this like I never left the Republican Party? The Republican Party left me? Is that Reagan? Reagan or Nixon? Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the, the quote they were going to riff on, too. I'll have to look it up to remember which, which president it was. Or was it the Democratic Party? It was one of the two parties. Alright. What do you mean? You know what I hate? To... Well, you know, lots of things really, but I'm old and easily you're a cranky annoyed. Old man. That's besides the point. What I really hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect. That they can do no huh. wrong. They think uh. the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. Uh, <laughs> let me guess you disagree, or I certainly don't think that. Um, let's go with let me guess you disagree. 
I'm not sure I want to go down the road with I certainly don't think that. Not, not with the way I'm trying to play the character this go around. Damn right I disagree. The Jedi are just as capable of injustice as anyone else. They may try harder, sure, but sometimes they get it wrong. And I'm not even talking about how some of us fall to the dark side. No, that's plenty indication of our fallibility. But it's something else entirely. No, I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe-wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so the Jedi wronged you in some way, I take it? Or nobody can worry about anything? Because I don't get it as not the... Yeah, we're not going the dense route. Um... Yeah, let's go. Nobody can be right That's about true, everything. That's true, but it's not what I meant. I guess I'm not being clear, am I? Come to think no, of it, not. I don't have to be clear. Someone my age is entitled to ramble, damn it. But for your sake, I'll try to explain. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortath, I think. Or was it Hortoff? I could never get it straight. All right. Where let's was hear. I then? Oh, oh yes. Master Hortath. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well, but the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into walls, knock over tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, that Wait, sort what? of thing. And he was too proud <laughs> to submit to proper treatment. Some used to counsel him in the urge to use the Force, Master Hordath. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply you know, squinted more like and that. more as Except the years hearing, went on. Vision. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. Yeah, let's go with the go on. So, one day a young Padawan meets Master Hordath in the courtyard and, not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordath gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. The Padawan is confused, naturally, and he asks if Master Hordath is sure, and of course Master Hordath says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should ask someone else, but the proud Hordath now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did like as he was told, and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went on to something else, well, we'll never know. Uh... Why do I get the feeling that he was the Padawan? No, no, both of them were from oh, before okay. my time. Well before the Sith Wars, even. The right. tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Alright. Got something yeah. on your mind, do you? Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's half Absolutely. senile. He'll forget I said anything. Wait, uh, what was this about anyway? Jolie is definitely one of the more entertaining characters they uh, give you for this go-round. Right. You can actually have a conversation? Or, um... Uh, yeah, never mind. No conversation had worth having there. What about you, Z? Is something new? Is there something you want? Alright, let's ask the big question. How do you feel about me? They rescued me from the Gamoran slavers. It does not matter to me if you're called an Anjuri or Rowan. I have sworn a life debt. I will stay with you to the end, and I will judge you on your actions as I see them. Not on a history I have never known. Good. Because you know who feels safe? A guy with a Wookiee and a Mandalorian on call. <laughs> How can you possibly right. be a raven? The one. The Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. 
It was Revan, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew no. when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. Well, I don't know. Depends on who's playing. Um... Yeah, I don't know who that Revan was. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. Uh. <laughs> yeah, let's go with the yes, overconfidence bit. That is true. I suppose you would know better than I. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you Yeah, I thought forget. about that too. Actually, I thought about just killing her out and out. But uh, it's always nice having an extra saber around, especially for uh, for combat. All right, now oh, that's the wrong right direction. Or wrong direction. No, right direction. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think you can turn her to the dark side because when you initially get her, it was a um, you either fought her to the death or turned her over to the council. There wasn't a uh, there wasn't a middle ground. Although I, I do wonder sometimes if you had enough of the right conversations while you were going to the dark side, if you could also turn her. Uh, that might be something to explore in another season. What do you need? All right, big long conversation. Here we go. Talk about what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive. There's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. Okay. Alright, so that is all the shopping. That is every minion covered. Then, uh, let's get this show on the road. Let me switch this over to the desktop view. And let's go to the star map, because, um... We've done Kashik, Kashik. Oh, you can't even select uh, Dantooine, Manan, Dantooine. Yep, Corvon's the last, last go. Ready, set. Here we go. Here we go. I do wish they had a way to turn off the extraneous animations like this, though. I mean, how many times do you have to see the ship flying out of the station? About precisely as many times as you need to see it flying into the station. Once. I think technically you have taken her as an apprentice, just as a uh, light side apprentice. Uh oh. Bad dreams again. But no Bastila to talk to about it. Hmm. Alright. And where shall we find this bit of the puzzle? Okay. So let's fly into the home world of the Sith. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Not like there's any opportunities for mischief or to suddenly undo all those light side points I got. Right? Back on the ground. Oh, we got another video. Oh, we're back on the ground. Okay. All right. Now, who do I want in my party? 
because it is time. Now, I know Karth has his little side quest that we got to do here where we look for his kid. So let's add him to the party. Kanders, we've already done his side quest. HK's done. I'm not sure if Jolie's side quests are all done or not. And same for Juhani. No, I'm pretty sure we have not done... We've definitely not done hers. We've taken care of everything with Z. This guy is the most uncomplicated minion you could possibly own. And we did everything with Mission's brother, so we should be good there. Yeah, the side quests are fun. Uh, some of these have been rather entertaining. Some of them have been a little frustrating or short. But uh, there's only but so much you can do. So let's go with Juhani. Because even if it's not her side quest, having another Jedi on the uh, in the group is always useful. Oh, somebody dinged. Ooh, was it Garth? No. Jahani. Ah, yes. Let's get you leveled up before we do too much. Attributes. Um. Oh, got it. What do I want to bump up? Bump up? Uh, hmm. uh, let, let's go with the wisdom. Because I want to increase her will save and her force powers. Which means I got to get that up to 14. Let's go skills. The same two skills. I keep dumping stuff in because where else am I going to put it? Uh, powers. That's the fun question. As she has been bumping up some of the buffing trees. Alright, so we got energy resistance, but um, she doesn't have any of the force valor or force resistance. Uh, we've done the whole throw saver line. Force suppression. Or suppression might be a way to go. And it is a universal power, so we don't have to worry about the dark side, late side thing at all. Uh, we're not doing the drain life. We're not doing shock. We're not doing fear. We're not doing anything with slow. Or a wound. Um, doesn't have any of the droid stuns, which is a little concerning. Um... Although stasis field is sorely tempting because that takes care of a group of people, which is always useful. So that would be the question. Do I want her to debuff? Do I want to enhance her buff or go for the stun? Although my character's already got the regular stun going. So, energy resistance or forced resistance? Um, or force valor? Force valor increases the physical attributes and saving throws. All party members by at least two points. And energy resistance just, uh, hmm. Or sorry, force resistance. No, let's, let's go with the force valor. We'll, uh, we'll start up that tree. Except. All right. Yes. Her on par there, or on point. Uh, is there anything of note in here? Because I know there's a couple of stations that I've found some barrels with some fun stuff in there. Uh, just a dude walking. Um, nice to see the hawk still in one piece. Beauty of a ship, that. Um. Okay. How do you know about the other hawk? I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the exchange, didn't it? 
Coraban's nice and remote. <laughs> the kind of place the exchange likes. I, I guess I should have expected the exchange was around here somewhere. I don't give a whit what you do with your ship. Smuggling's what the hawk was made for, though. Alright. Oh, nobody special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the hawk here all the time. You mm -hmm. sure can. Never heard of a star. Map. You mean like a navigation chart? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of old Sith ruins up on the surface of the planet. That's why they put one of their academies here to dig them all up. Uh, so how does somebody get to these you ruins? Don't. Not unless you're a Sith in the academy. They're the only ones allowed on the surface. They pay Zerka to ship things in and out, I guess, but that's all closely monitored. Hmm. So how does one get into the academy? There's all kinds of hopefuls in the colony trying to get in. Why don't you ask one of them? Okay. Yeah, take care now. Well, at least gives me some of the information I need. Alright. Ah. <laughs> Another Jedi come to small Corvan. Yes, good to meet you. <laughs> yeah. How do you know I'm a Jedi? Says the guy wearing Jedi armor and carrying a lightsaber. Yeah, no, I don't see that going. <laughs> Except to be sarcastic, I don't see that being an answer. Uh, you're wrong, I am no Jedi. Nah, not seeing that one either. So let's go with Jedi come here often, do they? There are many people who come to Corbin from the space who want to join the Academy. Some of them are Jedi who have left the Order. You will get into the academy for certain. I understand Jedi who have left the light side are made very welcome. Oh. <laughs> so I imagine. What's the academy? Oh, I thought it would have been like here. There's a Sith Academy just outside Drashad. Where they... Drashad? Drashad? Does it depend on whether you're from the north side of Korriban or the south? Drashad. Where they train their students and such. But enough about that. It is very nice to see that the Ebon Hawk has returned. I've not seen that ship for some time indeed. But so that means no fee, right? Right? Since, you know, you're, you're seeing good old friend like the Ebon Hawk. Oh, it's just your regular, it's only 25 credits. Not really necessary, is it? Okay. I mean, seriously, it's 25 credits. I've accumulated enough. But at this point, it's kind of the principle. I think I've only paid two of the docking ports so far. Fee. I suppose you're correct. It won't hurt anything if I just let you on through. Alright. Who's going to give me about that? Uh, are you going to answer some questions? The excavations? The ones on the surface? All I know is that only the Sith students go there. Uh, have you ever heard of a star map? <laughs> Doesn't your computer handle navigation? Beyond that, I really can say. Thank you for that. Um, who can tell me about Korban? Okay, well this is Dershan. It's the only colony on the planet. Korban is a Sith planet. Well within much space. It is not very well inhabited. 
Kuno Bamuli Raji goes just like the Sith Lord. This is the last circuit to conduct some mining here. Okay. But otherwise, the colony rolls around the Rikos of Academy. You would happen to have a paper or something to get me into the Academy, right? Army guy who can't pass and persuade. Alright, uh... What about Zerka? Oh, come on. I don't have information about Zerka here. Of course I know they're one of the largest ones in the core. They seem to have interest in mining everywhere. From the Paris desert to subspace. Oh, Corva is actually the location of Zerka's headquarters for the sector. Alright. Uh, can you tell me anything about the Academy? <laughs> Unless you're one of the hopefuls trying to become a student there, I suggest you avoid it. The Sith of the law here can do as they please. It can be quite dangerous. Well, let's get dangerous. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't help me on that one. Alright, enjoy your stuff. Alright, uh. <laughs> no, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, King Kunjo Peshak, no bamuliraji, Johnny Yun Turungchi, we eat a deer. Please give us a chance. We'll do anything to get into the <laughs> I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy yeah, is a weakness. I... If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! It's you a penki! No, you don't Things understand. You not get out for this. You probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. Yeah, why else These would I be here? These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Oh, this is rich. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. What do they do? You can't just kill them. Why are you asking me? No, nah, you can't Please just kill help them. us! Silence! Of course I can kill them. The Sith can do whatever they like on Korriban, and frankly, these worms rather deserve it. That's for you to decide, however. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave me out of it. Humiliation. Kill them. Nah. Let them go. Let them go. And what could possibly convince me to do that? <laughs> because I'm Darth Revan, and I'm telling you to let them go. Eh, killing them now is wrong. That you know has to be a first. Wrong, is it? Let me show you how wrong I think it is. Oh, I was hoping he was going to give me a chance to fight him over it instead of it. Uh, well, since there's no saving them, eh, any of them in the pockets? Alright. 
We are getting at an hour 45. Let me check out the rest of this place and I'll probably call it a night shortly. Greetings, welcome to Korriban. If there's anything you need, you can talk to me. Yeah, I need to get into the academy. Can you help me with that? Alright. So what sort of merchandise? Weapons. <laughs> okay, if you need them, you're gonna be spending if you're gonna be spending any time here. Them is in connections or them is in weapons? What sort of connections? <laughs> Mandalorian raiders occasionally drop by needing to get rid of some extras that they can't sell in the civilized systems. Alright, I see what we're after here. They treat me well, I treat them well, it all works out. Hmm. So if you need weapons, you probably will. This is the place to come. Is it? So let me take a look at your merchandise now. <laughs> what you got? Ooh, a Krath Warblade. Hmm, okay, that's not bad, but nothing worth hanging on to. Same with that. Asius Fetz Heavy Pistol. Ooh, that might be worth giving Karth to uh, at least put in his offhand, because that's 4 to 11. Chance to stun. Plus 3 to attack, and it is upgradable. That Cassius Fett's heavy pistol might be the way to go. Because the rest of that seems your. Yeah. Standard fare. Okay. For 10k, though. Oof. That's a. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I got 70k, but I have 70k because I don't spend it when I don't need it. All right, that's 4 to 11. Let's close that real quick. Let's go. Let's go see what Karth has handy because that is okay. His blaster is only 4 to 9, and the main one is 3 to 10. So, yeah, I think we'll take that. Yep. Okay. So I'll have to spend a little time upgrading that on the ship, probably in between. I'm just here on one of Zerka's transports. I don't have no business with you. <laughs> Are you new to Corban? Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Great, oh, just what better. we needed. Some punks to come steal our lunch credits. <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashon. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I think that's a lot of responsibility for simple scum like you. You can try to kill me. You'd fail, but you can try. I don't think there's any need for hostilities. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? What is this raffle? How many guesses do we get? Do not provoke them, Karth. 
Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. <laughs> do you know who I am? I'm Darth Riven. Watch your tongue or I'll rip it out. Uh... Please don't hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like any of these options. I'm not looking for trouble, but I'm not here to amuse you. That might be the one I go with. Be careful. You might be heading for more trouble than you can handle. Except I probably should say that with a Clint Eastwood esque, like, yeah. Be careful. If you really want to fight, just make the first move. It'll be your last. All right. You know what? Because I'm not begging. So let, let's try the Persuade. Uh, okay. These two Mandalorians are Go out in the on. woods. <laughs> uh, one of them collapses. He doesn't seem to be breathing and his eyes are glazed. The other Mandalorian takes out his communicator. I've heard his this commander. one before. I think... Quiet! He gasps. My partner's collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, commander responds. Calm down. I can help. And then... First, let's make sure your partner's dead. There's a silence, then a blaster shot is heard. Back on the communicator, the Mandalorian says, Okay, Kid, now what? Maybe you should try juggling next time. Huh. <laughs> That's the oldest joke in the book. Oh. Well, it certainly didn't amuse us, did it? Try again. Alright. Yeah, we'll go with the middle ground. I'm not looking for oh, trouble, I but I'm see. not here to amuse well, you. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? <laughs> it looks like this one's not afraid of you at all, Lasho. Are you going to let us be insulted? Oh, get over yourself already. I'm tired of this. Yeah, this one's got some backbone at least. Let's go. Fine. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, I suspect so. Alright, uh, what else we got in here? Oh, yeah. There does seem to be a lot going on. There's the Zerka office. More stuff going on down there, so you know what? This looks like it is opening more than I'm ready to do right this minute. So let's go ahead and let's save this game. Are you sure you want to save? I am sure that I want to save. Back up here and we'll go to the credits. And this is where I say thank you. I hope you had fun. And, um, uh, oh, sorry. Computer is not cooperating. There we go. Okay. <laughs> One of those days. This is where I say thank you. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Games Revisited, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. As you gathered from the chat earlier, we are uh, we're getting pretty deep into the game. Uh, we do this Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And we got a little bit more to go. We've just started on this last part of the star map. We got one more planet and then the star forge. And then, uh, now it's time to start talking about what's next. So, uh, with that, if you, uh, if you want to help the channel out, don't forget to make sure to, uh, follow us on Twitch or Mixer, whichever one it is you're watching this on. If you're watching this later when it's archived up on YouTube, do make sure you give the channel a follow and you'll get notified when I up to upload more of the stream archives. You'll notice I also do another stream called Coffee Craft. That's the Minecraft stream that I do on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. You'll find links to the YouTube from Twitch and Mixer. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find links to the Twitch and Mixer there. And uh, that way you can follow along and watch live or later, whichever whichever works best. Do keep an eye on the YouTube channel, even if you are mostly catching this live. I do want to start putting together some produced episodes for various things, uh, some produced episodes for Coffee Craft, some other miscellaneous stuff, uh, both gaming-related and non. 
And I asked this Tuesday, and I'm going to ask it again today because some people watch one series and not the other, and some watch the other and not one. Um, I've got a couple things that I want to put up that aren't quite, they're not quite a good fit for the main channel. So I definitely want to get a second channel for all the miscellaneous stuff that doesn't fit. If you've got an idea for a good, funny, punny name for the second channel, do, uh, do, do leave it down in the comments below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this live, I will be uploading it, uh, starting as soon as I sign off and in a couple hours, if I'm lucky and the bandwidth holds out, <laughs> uh, you, it'll be up there for you to comment on, but do leave some suggestions for a funny, punny name for a second channel. And that's where, that's where things are going to go that don't, they don't fit the main channel. They don't really fit their own separate project. Um, and, uh, I could use your help. If you want to support the channel in other ways, live.anonjr.com should still take you to the Streamlabs donation page. Uh, I haven't heard back yet on whether or not the support still works, though, because I set that page up when they were offering it for free, and then I found out that, <laughs> that it's only free uh, while it was in beta. So i, I got to figure out what's going on with that. But either way, that will have links to Twitch Mixer, YouTube, AnonJr.com, my homepage, where I have links to everything that's going on, and I sometimes even write stuff. <laughs> Going to be fixing that in the near future, too. So, uh, have fun, good night, enjoy, and see you next time.